Hello, here we are. Take two Tuesday. It is Tuesday already. April 2nd, I see things are going. At least on my end, so far so good. Let me pull up the streams here and find you guys. I hope everybody is doing great today. Have a happy Tuesday. Let's see. Give me one minute here. I'm going to get try to find the chats. They should be running. One second here. All right, I found the YouTube. Make sure my sound's off. Hi, hi, hi. I see Janet's here and Amanda. I saw someone was sick, they said earlier, upstairs hobby room. Oh, I hope you get to feeling better. It's no fun to be sick and I hope I don't put you to sleep. <laughs> I saw that, that would be funny. You guys can't go to sleep while I'm here. At least stay awake for a little bit. <laughs> or don't tell me you fall asleep during the episode, right? Hi, Amanda, Gloria, Antoinette. I got all our regulars here. Becky, I hope we have some new people. If you're new today and watching, make sure you check in and say hi. So let me get Facebook going over here. <clears throat> I hope that, let's see. There, I found Facebook. I hope that all of you had a, a wonderful Easter. Hi, Carol, over on Facebook. Looks like I'm chatting as Ken today, uh, so you might see some posts by Ken on Facebook. Hi, Beverly and Terry and Susan and Rebecca. Great to have you all here. We're going to have some fun today. Again, I hope you had a wonderful Easter. We are already, we had a rainy Easter. Um, we had fun. We went to church and then we just got, had a quiet family gathering. We couldn't do much outside. We, I, I remember. Stephanie hid some eggs around the house, uh, plastic toy eggs for the boys. So we had a little bit of fun doing that. Easter egg hunts are fun. And they got all candied up. And I don't think we gave them most of the candy, but they had candy and they were wild and all over the place. But we did still have a fun day. Let's see what else is new. Oh, I do have our winner. I'll announce our winner from our question that I posted last week about what would you miss most if there was not a spring season if we went just from winter to summer so i do have a winner for that so thanks for everybody to everybody who participated i think we had about 65 responses so that is pretty good not like our original one i think we did like 130 or 140 that was great so i will have a 10 dollar gift certificate to give out i'll announce the winner in just a minute I do want to warn you, I have to leave a little bit early today. I have an appointment at 11 o'clock, so probably around 11.45, or I'm sorry, 10.45, 10.50, I'll be cutting out, so it'll be a little bit shorter today. We'll look at a couple of items. We have floaties to stamps along with the die set, and there's an add-on set called More Floaties to Stamp. Uh, a few weeks ago, we looked at a pool folded. I'll show you that sample that kind of goes with the floaties. And so we did see some floaty examples from back then. We'll look at that. And I also have a fluffy cat fold it die set. And you know, we love the fold it's around here and we've been working with those a little bit off and on and just showing you how easy they are to do. Uh, let's see what else. So those are the items we'll be looking at. What kind of, I have a little good news video about this older guy who's getting out and serving and still doing some fun stuff. So we'll save that for our good news segment towards the end. And then we have, uh, we'll do a little quick Bible devotion, Matthew 6, 13 uh, in the Lord's prayer. It has to do with temptation. So we will, that's kind of a rundown. Let's see what else. Oh, I have a question for you. Um, as we get started, did yesterday was April fools. Uh, April 1st, did you play a, a joke or a prank on anyone or did anybody play a prank or a joke on you? That's my question for you today. I remember when I was a kid, like that happened a lot or I would be listening to a radio station or something and they'd say something real, real crazy or I don't know, in the sports world, there would be some kind of trades of players or something like that. And uh, for a while, it would get me, and then they would got uh, April Fools. And so, yeah, I kind of, they would pull one over on me. So I remember that happening a few times. But as I've gotten older, I, nobody's pulled any April Fools pranks on me, and I haven't done so to anybody else, but maybe you still do. So it's all right. It's good fun. 
especially when you're a kid, I think, right? That's most the most, uh, the fun. But I think probably some families do that. And uh, I don't know, just something to goof off. But April Fools, we are on to April 2nd. <coughs> I hope your month is off to a good start. Again, we've been getting lots of rain and we need it out here. So that's good. But today is sunny. Rain's not coming back, I don't think, until this upcoming week. Let's see what else. Okay, for our winner, I'm going to go ahead and announce right now. Our winner from YouTube is, she goes by the call name of Elizabeth Brown 9904 So, Elizabeth, you are our winner. And she said, did I write down what she said? Hmm. Let me see. I think I did write down what she said. Her answer was what she would miss. Um, she said, if we jumped from winter to summer, I would miss uh, probably the birds singing and the growth from dead of winter to the life in the spring. So there's, and she says there's something for the smells of spring and also watching the flowers peek through and the trees budding. So I think a, a lot of you an gave answers kind of like that. Uh, we all like to see the greenery and the flowers. We're lucky and here in Southern California, we get, a, um, of course we get winter season and we get summer season, but spring is, uh, kind of blends in a little bit. It doesn't get super cold out here or super hot most of the time. Every once in a while we get some spells where something does go a little bit crazy. But um, our seasons kind of just kind of blend over uh, each other some of the time. And there, I got that. But um, So we don't have as, probably as big a season as a lot of you. And without spring, it is kind of like that new beginning and uh, the new life kind of uh, view that we take. You know, everything's green. And I don't know when it rains out here. It's nice because it does clean up everything and things look a little more beautiful and fresh. And the hills get all green. And right now we do have a lot of flowers. So the wild flowers where we could plant flowers year round pretty much here. And we could have some kind of flowers out in our gardens or in our front yards. But um, when it's springtime, even just the natural, all the hills and the, the valleys and the little side paths around all the roads, they all get filled up with flowers and green. So it's really, it is a nice time of year. So congratulations, Elizabeth. If you are on the chat or you watch the video, Elizabeth, make sure you email Faylene at the office. You'll just email at info at the stamps of life.com and let her know that uh, you are the winner for Ken's uh, question from Take Two Tuesday, and I'll let her know as well, and we'll get you that $10 gift certificate sent out to you, all right? So congratulations to you, and thanks for everybody who answered. Uh, again, any comments that you want to post, if you want to tell me, Ken, you did a good job, or Ken, you should be doing better, or <laughs> whatever you want to say in the comments, or if you have any ideas, um, suggestions, you can post them all in the comments. I do read them all, and usually I'll... So you know that I read them, I'll click the like button and I like to run through the comments. And the more comments and the more activity we get involved with these videos, more likely it is that they'll send this video out to more people and we'll hopefully we'll pick up some no new viewers. All right, let's see what else is new. Next Monday is a big day. If you haven't heard, we have a solar eclipse coming. That should be exciting, right? And I hear here in Southern California, about half the sun will be blocked out. So what is it like where you live? Are you going to be like in the total full solar eclipse? I see that it comes down like from an angle kind of from, um, it looks like up towards Canada and it kind of slices down and I see it's going through Texas and Mexico. There's a, a guy I know, he's not a friend, but I know him and he lives in a place in the middle of Texas called Fredericksburg and it's like a destination place. The hotels are all filling up. And people are packing in the town and they're jacking the rates up on all the hotel prices. So he said it's going to be crazy there. And uh, he was saying, please don't come here because I think it's going to be that wild. So it, I think the eclipse is going to be pretty strong through a lot of Texas. I, I think in California, we're supposed to get about half, half, half of the sun covered up. So I see Diane says you're not going to see it at all in Florida, huh? I thought just about everybody would be able to see it somewhere, but I can be wrong. I don't know because I Googled it yesterday to find out, hey, what's it going to be like in California for the eclipse? I remember when I was about five or six in eclipse and all the teachers, like we were at school and the kids, the teachers just said, don't look at the sun, don't look at the sun because of course you just naturally want to look. 
And I think there's been a few others between now and then, but I never paid that much attention to it, this one coming up. So it should be pretty exciting. Um, <laughs> Diane, how would you know that I do not take showers at home yet? I'm afraid I don't have hot water in my shower. That's why I do not take a shower at home. We have an extra bathroom that I could use, but I go to the gym and I exercise. I do take a shower. So, you know, every single day I couldn't go without a shower. I just don't feel right. But um, at home, something's wrong with the water connections. And uh, I know my sink that I use, I do not, uh, I do not have a I do not have hot water in my sink, so I'm afraid to test the shower. And because um, once you get in there, you're kind of stuck, and I don't want to be stuck with cold water, so I haven't, I haven't um, tried out the shower at home. Stephanie must have told you guys about that, huh? Hmm, she didn't warn me about that. <laughs> yeah, Stephanie. So, okay, let's get on with our show. I hope you have a way to see the eclipse next week, maybe. If you can't, oh well, life goes on, right? Well, it'll be okay. Uh, I'll probably be working when the eclipse takes place around here or something like that. Yeah, we, we've just been so busy. All right, let's get started. Um, all right, we will. Oh, I already know one thing. I forgot my. I forgot my. Um, my my Bible. So give me one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's my Bible, <laughs> for at least for this. I left it down the hallway. And I right before I started to do the live stream, I'm all, I got to go get that. And then um, apparently I was distracted. So let's get that ready to go. We'll use that a little bit later. All right, today, let's start off with... Let's start off with our the fluffy cat. This is the cluff... Uh, blah, 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 blah. What am I saying? Fluffy Cat Fold It, and it is from July of 2020. We introduced this, so just about four years ago. And I have some fun ideas here from our design team. Let me see. Give me one second here. I'm still trying to figure out all my buttons. Getting a little better. I think that will do it. Okay, great. Is it over there? Yeah, awesome. Why is my preview not working? I don't know. There we go. So Fluffy Cat folded, and we'll find it on the website. It's got a few dies in here. There's a little mouse and the cat. Where is the Stamps of Life website? There we go. We will type in Fluffy. You should be able to find it. No, I don't need the coupon. Oh, I, again, I hope you guys signed up. If you have an account with us, make sure you sign up and you get your birthday added to your account, okay? You'll want to have that. So if you haven't done so yet, go into your account and look for the little section where it lets you add your birthday. Make sure you do that. You'll be happy you did, all right? And I will try to find this. I think I have it. All right, there we go. The fluffy cat folded. I tried to fill that up mostly. Great. It comes with, makes a A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. The more we do these episodes, the more I'm learning exactly what an A2 card is. I think before I said it was uh, five by seven, or I don't know what I was saying, but A2 is four and a quarter by five and a half. Let me see if you can find me up here. Yep. And it has a total of four dies in the set. It will have the outside die. And uh, then you can paper piece kind of with the inside die there. And you have the little mouse to go with it. Um, it works in a standard size machine. Let's see some of our samples. You see the main die there. And whoop, let's go through those. And I might have some of these samples here along with me to show you. So lots of great ideas. And lots of fun coloring shading. You can... Make just about any kind of cat you want, it looks like. I see all these different colors with the mouse buddy there. All right. And does 
Uh, this has been a real popular set. I have these fun samples to show you. So let me check these out. Great. And we will start off with, I'll put them on the table there too, but I wanted to show you. Here's one that is made with the box it die. Remember we worked with this one last week? And that is the larger one. And they've used gray cardstock, so it kind of matches our the outline of our cat. That's a fun way to do it. And you could add your treats in there. Um, little, If you want to do a gift or party favors or something like that, that's fun. And you have your front and back. So this was made, again, just with the fold it. And then you add the box. It. I didn't bring the box. It's with me today, but we have three different sizes. This would be the regular size, which is the first one we sold. So you might have this. Again, oh, I didn't say, but th this is Take Two Tuesday. So what we're talking about is maybe items that you already have from the past we're reviewing those and if you are uh new to the stamps of life maybe these are some items that are new to you so i'm sorry i didn't mention that at the beginning so if you have that want to know the premise of this video we're looking at items from the past looking for ways we can get those out and put them to use or maybe it's something that will catch our interest for the first time but you didn't know about it because when you go to the stamps of life website there's a ton of stuff there and it's just impossible to know and keep up with everything everything so that's what we're trying to do here so let me add the samples over here to our table and that should pop up great so that's our box it let me get the other samples out oh i've got too much light coming on over there one second Day. all right sorry about that so there's a little bit of extra light over there that so if you saw that light that was behind it that's the front door of our store here and i kind of block it off we have this old curtain that we used to use and it helps the coloring in here a little bit um so we have that box it i see everybody's here right 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 let's see yeah stephanie surprised me mm -hmm. yeah he does need a fish right so let's see if it, a fish made it onto any of these other cards here we have a birthday themed fluffy cat and that's with the white and here again you have the options you can do on your fold it you can do side this one's on the side and that's the birthday theme there and then we have this cute one Catitude is everything. Yeah, yeah. if you have a cat, don't they usually have attitudes? I know Katie's cats have attitudes. They do not like anybody, I don't think, except Katie. <laughs> yeah, about the subscriptions, Karen, I don't know why. YouTube is kind of one of those broken things. You can sign up for subscription notices and notifications. If you see a notification button, you definitely want to hit that subscription You'll get the video. It doesn't mean they'll tell you exactly when it goes live. There's a cute one there with a little ball. And this one is done on the top, right? So your fold, it's on the top. So yeah, you want to subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you do subscribe and um, hit the su subscribe button. And if you see a notification button, hit the notification button too, because I think that's when you actually get a notification when we go live. Otherwise, with subscriptions, they just kind of put it in your feed and you can have a list of um, subscriptions. I subscribe to a lot of different videos. Let me hit that. I subscribe to a lot of different videos and, or um, like some piano. I'm working on piano. So some piano ones and they send me updates when there's a new piano video out or I do some exercise ones and also like some sports ones for fantasy football and those kind of things. So it's nice to have, but I don't usually know to get a notification when people are live i don't know again i think it's just broke there's the little mouse you made it onto that card and i have one more and there's also a mouse on this one now i guess my next question is yeah are you more of a cat person or a dog person now i have i have to say i have had some cats that i liked in my life but <laughs> that being said when i'm trying to sleep in the middle of the night and the cat is 
uh, going crazy and doing all their things in the middle of the night. At that time, I don't care for cats. <laughs> so I guess I'm a little bit more of a dog person, but you can be a cat and dog person. But what's your favorite? Do you like cats or do you like dogs better? Gloria says my screen is freezing a little bit. I am hoping I'm not. Looks like my stream is okay here. So hopefully on my end, Gloria, everything's looking okay. Sometimes you can just refresh or press pause for a minute and uh, come back some of the time that will help out. So I see we have a lot of cat people and both, right? Great. And we have some dog people as well. Yeah, cats and dogs. Katie, again, Katie's cats are kind of crazy. They don't seem to like anybody but Katie. Stephanie's parents have some nice cats. One is super, super friendly and one is just, uh, he kind of does his own thing. But if you're there long enough, he'll start to warm up a little bit. But um, they definitely have their own personalities. And whereas I feel like dogs really care about their people, I feel like cats, not so much. <laughs> Could be wrong. I mean, how do I really know what a cat is thinking? But anyhow, that's my opinion. Okay, let's move on next to our next item. This will be, we have three that go with this collection. It's, this is the, this was a club set also from July of 2020. Let me switch my little, uh, where are we? Are the floaties there? Again, I'll be trying to sign off around 1045, 1050, a little bit earlier today because I have an 11 o'clock appointment. So if, if I do have to jump out, just so you know. Yeah, I see Debbie saying she's getting a little freezing on and off. Everything looks good for my side, guys. So I don't know what's going on out there. Uh, the good thing is this gets recorded. And if you're having trouble watching it right now, you'll be able to replay it later. The full version where everything probably smoothed out will get posted a little bit later. So watch for that. All right. And then uh, let's see. So we have floaties to stamp, more floaties to stamp, and there's a floaties to stamp die set. So this first is our stamp set. And let me find that on our website. You get a bunch of great designs. And I do have some information about floaties for fun. Let's see. I just know probably whatever pet you have, that's the one you love the most, right? We get attached to our pets and they're fun to have around. And some of the time they can be a handful, but uh, we love them, right? No matter what, really. Okay, some interesting facts about floaties. Um, just, let's see, it kind of gives a wide variety because this kind of has to do with pool toys. But the rubber duck was introduced in 1940. So if you were around in the 40s, maybe you were around when the rubber duck was introduced. I've not been around that long, but <laughs> I'm in the late 60s. And then it says swim floaties, like the ones you would put on your, and we don't have any swim floaties on here, like on your kids' arms to help them swim. Those were around in the early 1900s. I saw some other things where they use floaties for like in the military to help guys get across water faster and stuff like that. I'm sure they weren't all colorful and everything, probably like army green or something that would blend in. But Floaties have been around since the early 1900s. It says in 1930, about there was a swim ring and then a beach ball in 1938 and inner tubes in 1950. Those big old black, you remember those big black inner tubes that you could float around on a lake or something like that? Those are fun. And the pool noodle, who can, who can, I mean, pool noodles, I think I, we still have those all around the house. And um, those were always fun. I remember when they came out floating around on those pool noodles were in the, let's see, when were they? The 80s. A banana boat was in the late 80s. Remember where that, I think that's the big boat that a uh, speedboat would take and pull around the ocean or a lake and a bunch of people could sit on it. I remember seeing that. I don't think I've ever been on a banana boat. And then kind of the style that we have where they're a little more ornate, like this says there's pizza, Floaties, melons, swans. We have our seahorses, pelicans, all or not pelicans, like a flamingo looking one. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> we, so we have a few different designs on ours. Those were around the 2010s, it seems like. So a little bit of history on floaties. And let's see what we have on the website for that. I know we have some nice ideas and I can give you a little more description. So if you were in the club back in July, excuse me, of July of, will that work? July of 2020, you would have this set, all right? 
So your job, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I got itch in my throat today. I apologize. Your job is to go and find it. And summertime's coming up. You might want to put these stamps to use, all right? So in the main club set, that's this one here in the middle. There are 13 stamps. And we have our fun ideas. Let's see what's going on there. I always have a hard time getting these pictures to expand. I know they will. Oh, come on now. There we go. We'll scroll through these. And you can see that there's the main set. That is with a shadow box. You can kind of layer your floaties. We'll add some water in there. Basic A2 card. And that looks like a stand up. Oh, I can't. That is the W circle. That one, that circle right there, I think is called the W circle. I don't think we still have that die. And that is on a fancy. That's a fancy frame circle, flip it. And then as a slim line, let's go back to see the add-ons. Whoops. Oh, I lost our page there. Hang on one second. I'm not being patient enough here. Back to fla fluffy, we don't want that. And we should be able to find the dies that go with it. And I think the samples would be the same. And then you have your dies there. Remember, our stamps are made in the USA, so they're going to be real high quality. I went, I will show you here. I went ahead and I did do some stamping. I stamped three of them ahead of time, and we'll die cut those real quick. And they all came out real nice. I used like a, a blueberry ink. Yeah, it looks like the same samples and that one you do get now there might be a couple of different ones let's scroll through those you get eight dies with oh, eight dies with this one and um the it says the largest floaty is two all oh, about two and a half inches by two inches let's see if there's any other ones in there that we haven't seen i think we saw most of these other ones yeah okay and then let's look at the more floaties so this is the add-on set you don't have to have this, of course, but it has a few more sentiments that are not on the other ones. It has uh, says like stay cool. Let me see. I can grab it and read it here. So this is the stamp set here and this is the add on. Stay cool. Do you have a sunburn or are you always this hot? Wow. Stay afloat. You've got this. Stay calm and float on. Sometimes you need to just chill. Hope your birthday is a splash and you've got this. I think maybe I said that one. So those all work together real well. Again, if you were a club member in July of 2020, you probably had these, have these. If you have forgotten about them, break them out. If you're new to the Stamps of Life, they are all available on our website. And just a reminder, we do have the, if you like these floaties or you have them and you want to, you know, dress them up a little bit, we do have the pool folded. And we looked at this in uh, one of the episodes maybe mm, like three or four weeks ago. So that's an option too where you can add the floaties to a pool and uh, this makes a nice card. I'll fold it again. This one is a, I think it's a, not it's not an A2 card. I think maybe it's more like a, f and I don't think it was slim line either. It might've been five by seven. But anyway, that's an option if you like to pool fold it. Let me put that back over there. Okay, we'll skip over to the table again where I'll show you these on the overhead camera. How are we doing on time? I think we're doing all right. Let's switch over to that one now. And I should be able to get that. Great, there we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna change, change mics. mics. There, there. Okay. okay. I think you can, you can hear, me, hear all right. me all right. Here over, over on my work table, table I have, I have stamp the main, main stamps, stamps, the, the three, designs three designs from this, from club, this set. club set. And you can, and see, you can see all, all the colors, the colors came, out. came out 
real nice. Real nice. The edges, the edges real, nice. real nice. I'm gonna try I'm gonna to, try to die, cut die cut a couple of these. Of these. Now, I'm, now, usually I'm usually not, not that good at this, so this is kind of like a practice run for me. For me. I can get the dies lined, lined up. There. I got to make, make sure they stay in place. place. I'm going to try, try to use a little bit of washi tape, tape in order, in order to, to, to make sure that, sure that happens. So I think, so I think I'm going to go, go ahead and try to cut out that guy, guy in the middle. And, and I, I, know I know some people like to to, to um, die, cut die cut first and then, and stamp, then stamp, which I prefer because I'm not always confident in my die cutting. If I've done a lot of work on trying to make an image look really nice and then... I go to, go die, to cut die cut it, it and, and I don't cut, I don't it, cut just it just right. right. Well, well, then all, then that, all work that work was, was for nothing. For nothing. So, so uh, uh, whatever, whatever preference you have, you have oh, 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 let's see, let's see. Whatever, whatever preference, preference you have is, is just fine. fine. But, but um, um, I, prefer I prefer to die cut, die cut first, first and then, and then stamp. stamp. We're just going to take, take that outside and we're going to line that up right on there. And here, and here, gosh, I gosh, must have been, have been uh, uh, not all, not here, all this here this morning. I thought I had, I thought had, had three, three different, different images, images, and I did two of the same, of the same one. one. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. Oh well. So we're gonna we're add gonna that add that to that guy, guy right, right there. there. Except, Except that's the that's wrong, the wrong die. die. So, so let's, let's try again. again. I want to make, make sure I have the die that matches, and that would be this guy, not this guy. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. And that layer of right right on top there. I'm going to add, gonna the add the washi, washi tape, tape to, to hold it in place, place get that, get that lined up, up just right. right. And where, where is my washi, washi tape? tape? There we go. There we go. I haven't used this, used this for a little bit, so hopefully I can, I can peel some off easily. easily. I should have had a couple, couple little strips, strips ready to go, but I did not. Let's get that. I'm going to probably put one piece on one edge. There. there. I've got my, got die, my die face, face down, down into, into the paper, paper so, so it will cut. And I know and most, I know of, most you know of you know all these things, things but, but since I'm a little, little bit more on the beginner, beginner side, side, even though I've been, though I've been in this business for a long time, long time um, I just kind of like, like to speak in that way, in that so, way so everybody knows what's going on here. So we've got that lined up. You've got your platform, your bottom cutting pad, top, top. I have been, I have been rotating, rotating these because, because they're, they're starting, starting to bubble, bubble a little bit, and I and want, them, I want to them to get back, get back into, into a flat position. So, so I've, been I've been rotating those. those. I have that ready, ready to go. Get that, get that set, set up and, up and lined up straight. straight. One second, One second here. here. All right. All right. I think we're ready. ready. We're just going to run, run that through. through. Make sure we don't sure get, we any, don't get squeaking any squeaking if I, if I get, that get that correctly lined, lined up. up. And, and just need to go, through, go there through there once. I felt that I little click, click, so I'm going to so go, go through, through the second time. time. Again, you Again, can see, you can this, see one, this one. This, this pad, is, pad starting is starting to warp quite a bit. A bit. So, so I really have to make sure I flop it back over a lot. Kind of even it out. So let's see. Hopefully this worked out. That doesn't, that doesn't tear. tear. I've got the washi tape, tape on. Sometimes, Sometimes the washi tape, tape can be strong, strong and if the paper's a little, little bit thin, you could you tear. Could so tear. There, you so there you go. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. I, I cut, that, cut that, out. that out. Now I can now go, I can go and, I can and I can decorate, add colors. colors. Um, um, you've seen like, you've seen like rainbow, rainbow colors. colors. You can just go just crazy however you want to color and shade these. So that was easy. And you could do that with all of these dyes. There's four, There's four different, different main, images main images that come, that come here in this, this one. one. And for your, for your uh, floaties, uh, floaties in your pool, I still have, I still have two, two more that I can cut. Again, these, Again, guys, these guys were supposed to be different, but I don't know. I don't know. It was early this morning, and maybe, and maybe I just wasn't, I just wasn't fully, fully awake yet. yet. But anyhow, but anyhow <laughs> I did get three, <laughs> I did three images snapped nicely, and this and one cut real easy, too. So there you have that. That is the floaties to stamp. Dies. And... Move back, move back over, over here. here. Oh, all right. All right. So, I hope so you guys, guys like those. those. Again, this, Again, is, this just is just a reminder to you that, that if you have them, you want to you find want to some, find some way, good ways to use those. those. Oh, now, oh, I now I see my, my 
my stream is having a little bit of problem, so I can see that. All right, if you have your Bibles, you want to grab that out. Here's my video. This is the guy who was, he's been a, um, he's 98 years old, but he's still um, pushing on in life and he's out there doing some good. So let's see what's going on with that. And I will try to pull this video up for you guys. And let's see if that will play. There might be a commercial here, so we want to wait till the commercial is done. And we're going to skip. And they have a little commercial here, so I got. I don't want that to play. And you might see some... Okay, here we go. So I think this is about two minutes or so. Um, just a guy who's doing some good. Maybe you have some opportunities like this in life to just get out there and get involved and do something good in life. And that's what we're talking about in this segment. Just some people doing good, some good things happening in life. Let's switch over to that and I'll turn on, whoop. Turn off that and let's play. Hopefully Continuing you can hear that. Service every Saturday morning, I Nathan think I can Hatton make Jr. this screen a little bit larger. At the Beaver yeah. Lick food. Let's go. What's going on here? There we go. Busy, right? In this week's Salute to Heroes, we spoke with him. About that guy's 98. I hope when I'm 98 that I'm looking that good, friend, right? <laughs> I would be happy World with that. <laughs> but Nathan Hatton Jr.'s reach goes far beyond the battlefield. After retiring from the military and a career with Greyhound, he just couldn't seem to keep himself from helping out. He's usually one of the first helpers here on a Saturday morning. He tries to get Valina out the door even hours before we're ready to start working. He's willing to do anything. Hatton joined the Army at 18 years old and served as a technician with the Field Artillery Division from 1944 to 1946. When talking to him about his military career, he says he's never going to forget the day oh, he left to fight. I get my Facebook going there. Sorry, guys, on Facebook. We, we are live again. <laughs> for physical. A couple weeks later, they called us and put us on a train, sent us to Camp Atterbury, Indiana. And we were there for... I don't know, two He's been around a long time, whatever. World War II. And on January wow. the 5th, the ship was up to Camp There's not that many veterans left nowadays, right? On the 6th, they load us on the boat and shipped us over to Europe. Now, Hatton Jr. spends every Saturday morning volunteering at the Beaver Lake Baptist Food Pantry by greeting guests and handing out snacks. We're also told that he's planting his own community garden. But what's even more impressive? He's doing this all at the age of 98 years old. Oh, he's got more energy than most of the people here that are 40s and 50s. He's got the, he's just like the Energizer Bunny. Never stops and always willing and always smiling. This food program is a great, great thing. I'm glad to help out, glad to be part of it. They look to be pretty Despite busy there, like they're helping a lot of people. That's good, to right? Enjoy the little things in life even celebrating his most recent birthday. It's always nice to see some people caring restaurants. about other people. That's what I think. I celebrated my 98th yesterday, and we went to Red Lobster. <laughs> what kind of dinner did you get at Red Lobster? Uh, scampi. Scampi. And when asked why he continues this life of service, well, he had this to say. There's nothing like being a patriot. This is the greatest country in the world. Indeed. Just about so done. All right. All right, so I hope that was just a little something to brighten your day. You know, I just like to, see, again, I just like to see people getting involved, getting out there and doing things. You might think if you're a little bit older that maybe God can't use you or something like that, but that's not true. God has lots of ways to use all of us, no matter our age, right? So I think that's important, a little reminder for all of us that God can use us no matter what age we are. If we just have a willingness to make ourselves available, I think that would be the key. Now, if you have your Bible... Again, I'm using my iPad or uh, tablet, and I'm going to use the Uversion app. We're reading it from the uh, New King James. All right, Matthew 6. We're just going to go through it real quick because I do have to run, so I'm sorry. This is going to be a brief segment. I want you to know, number one, that we've been talking about it's important that we be praying. God wants us to pray. If you have Matthew 6, you can read along the key verse. You can read the entire prayer. But in verse 13, Jesus said, um, 
he's Jesus said, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So there's a couple things I was thinking about in this part of the prayer that the word temptation can also mean testing. So there's a couple different options here because the Bible says that God will not tempt us. God can't be tempted by evil and he will not tempt us either. So God's not going to lead us into evil. So there's a good chance this word kind of could be um, translated as testing. Now the Bible does say that God will test us at times, but to be honest, though it might be for our good, the testing, it's like we're not always going to want to welcome testing like i don't know myself to be honest i don't know myself that well how how am i going to hold up when god tests me um if i'm trusting in his strength and his power great but if i'm working out of my own power and strength the testings might be somewhat challenging but i'm kind of thinking it could be testing it does say temptation so it depends how they translated it but if you again if you read in james chapter one the bible says that um, god will not tempt us in a way that leads us to evil and so my bent my when i kind of look at it i kind of think of it as we live in this world that has fallen and uh things are kind of crumbling and uh, you know there's a lot of problems in the world and then so we have that problem that's going to tempt us then we have it says some of the time in this passage it says the evil one instead of just evil like it says here so that could be a mention of the devil satan and according to the bible he's real and he wants to cause troubles for us so we have that enemy that could tempt us and then we have our own selves which i think could be our biggest problem and we all have things that tempt us that draw us away to do things that are not so good so we need help god protect me from these kind of things these things that would tempt me to do things that are not good for me um so that's kind of my feeling on that so if you want to um read more i if you read the full book of James, it would be a great uh, study. It's like five chapters. You could read it in 10 or 15 minutes. It's a very active book. It's a very active book as far as you put your faith into practice. And um, a lot of the things that are in the Lord's Prayer here also come up in the book of James. So James is towards the end of the New Testament. Easy to read. It's practical, things that you can put into practice. And so I would challenge you, if you want to do a little bit extra, besides uh, just this verse that we're tapping into today, that you look also and check out James and see if there's something that you can put into practice in your life there as you walk with Jesus. And that would be a challenge for you, yeah. The cool thing is James was the brother of Jesus. So it's kind of interesting to see how James has some of these connections also to the Lord's Prayer. I think you will find some of those things in the book of James if you take the time to, to read all the way through. So again, again, I'm just a little bit short on time. You could read through this whole um, this uh, prayer by Jesus here and connect it with James, all five chapters. I think it's five, five or six chapters. I believe it's five chapters, and uh, you'll be blessed by doing that. And we need help. We need God's protection. And uh, we've talked about the last couple of weeks, we need God to provide for us. We want God's kingdom, his will to be done, not ours. So a few different things we're expanding on. And next week we will finish up. We'll look at the, there's a last little second part to verse 13. We'll take a look at that. And I see that there's some translations that have that verse and some that don't. But in the New King James, it does talk about, we just want God's kingdom to come. So we will speak about that too. I hope, that helps you out. I've got to run. Uh, again, let me see what I can find here. I apologize for all of the interruptions today. S remember last week how I said that if you guys could just pray for me. Maybe I didn't pray enough for this episode <laughs> because it seemed like things just kind of fell apart. I had technical problems. I goofed up on some sound stuff and then my camera went out. So it was kind of one thing after another, but I hope that all of you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. Congratulations again to our winner, Elizabeth Brown. Um, make sure you email the office, Elizabeth. I, again, I appreciate your comments. If you want to add any comments, maybe you know how to fix all my, uh, <laughs> my internet and um, live streaming problems here. Last week seemed to go pretty good. This week, not so good. But we will be back again next Tuesday. Reminder that Stephanie will be on on Thursday for Crafting Corner. And I think that will be it. Again, I apologize for kind of rushing here. But with everything crumbling and my meeting coming up in a few minutes, I have got to go. So 
God bless you all. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Tell somebody. Well, I don't know if you want to recommend that, the way things went today, if you want to recommend this episode to somebody. But if you do, great. We still had some fun looking at some stamps and dies, and I had a fun time being with all of you. All right. God bless you. See you Thursday night. Uh, Stephanie's Crafting Corner. Take care. I'm out. Bye-bye.